Hey guys, I'm going to show you how easy it is to turn any image like a PNG or a JPEG into a sticker um, using Microsoft Word and you can print it and add it to your paper planner. Um, anyway, I have already pulled up my Word document and um, to insert an image, all you have to do is click on insert, then go to pictures and picture from file. And I'm going to use the picture that I sent to you guys today. It's a PNG. Um, in my newsletter, um, and I've already sized it pretty small because um, I know that you would want to use it as a sticker. So, um, anyway, you won't have to resize it unless you want to, but um, anyway, I'm just going to click on it and it'll insert it into the Word document. And uh, let's say, for example, that I wanted to print this sticker over and over again on a page. Um, all I would have to do is make sure the sticker is selected. Um, and then copy it. I'm going to use my keyboard and I have a Mac so I'm going to hit command C if you have a um, Microsoft or whatever computer it would be control C and um, Now I'm going to hit command V to copy it and if I wanted to add space in between um, I would just hit the space bar and then hit command V and just do that over and over again to fill the page um, and anyway um, if I wanted to fill a page with several different images um, you can do that. You just insert the pictures over and over again by going to insert pictures, picture from file, and I'll insert this JPEG right here. Um, and yeah, it'll just place it. And if you wanted to resize it, you could do that in two different ways. Um, you can just make sure the image is selected and then drag that little box. Um, and like that's huge, so you know, that wouldn't be a realistic sticker size, but you can make it as big or as small as you needed to. Um, or you can go up here and um, adjust the height and width. If you want it to adjust uh, so it's proportional, just make sure that box is checked. And let's say I wanted the width to be 1.5. I would just insert that into width and then hit enter on my keyboard and it'll automatically adjust the height. Or if you um, want it to fit specific dimensions and don't necessarily care if it's proportional, um, to the original image, then uh, you uncheck that box and um, let's just give it a width of like three inches and a height of like 1.5 inches and it'll adjust it to whatever size you need. So anyway, um, then you know once your page is filled and you have everything that you want, you would just go to file and then print and um, then you could cut the stickers out yourself or whatever you wanted to do. And, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, contact me um, on my website if you have any questions. Thanks.